many love scenes in Madonna's body of evidence reflect her personal taste? Inquiring minds want to know. So sticky. It is kind of a mess. I'm, I'm a much simpler person. Used to being in charge of her creative activities, Madonna was pleased this time to cede some creative control to director Uli Edel. Well, I think it was a combination of everything. The, the part, the script, uh, the character I play, Uli, Willem, you know. I mean, a movie absolutely is a collaboration, and you could, you know, be as great as you want, but if everything else around you stinks, it's not, you know what I mean? It's kind of hard to be good. So who gets to take the bows for the quality of Madonna's performance? I think I'm to credit for well, this. Did you see the movie? Yes. Oh, okay, good. The movie, perhaps not, but in recent months, we've seen Madonna the book, heard Madonna the album, maybe even glimpsed Madonna the road thrill. I worry about people's reaction to it. That's what I worry about. I mean, I worry about their shocked reaction to it. Because that, to me, is very telling about the way society is right now, and I, I don't think that's good. The book's provocative S&M scenario has both titillated and shocked the nation, and its ostensibly appalled public made sex a bestseller. I think it scared a lot of people, not just young people. I think it scared anybody who's <coughs> afraid of sexuality or who's been raised to Think of sexuality as, as something dirty, taboo. The film needed cuts to get an R. I think it's just as hot, the R, as the NC-17. I think probably that all the love scenes went on a little longer in the NC-17, but I don't really think it, you know, changed that drastically. But how much longer can Madonna's sexual explorations enthrall her public? Or will she attempt a stunning self-reinvention? Well, why do you have to know everything? Can't you just have some sort of mystery? Do you think you're capable of just answering the questions put to you? I'm just trying to explain myself. What is the state of Maverick now? Do you have a lot of projects stacked up in Maverick with the Maverick imp imprimatur? We just signed a group called Candlebox from Seattle. Mm -hmm. That's our newest. For the grunge scene thing? Yeah, kind of. Kind of in the um, Alice in Chains sort of Pearl Jam. Vibe. Were you, you going to sign Hole at one point? Was that... I was interested in them, yeah. Definitely. Did you actually talk to them? I talked to Courtney, yeah. Mm -hmm. How was she? To to How was she to talk to you on the phone? Um, energetic. The, uh, the, the media are trying to uh, foment some sort of feud, I think, between you and Sinead O'Connor because they're ripping up pictures of the Pope on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Did you Was that overplayed, or did you really uh, think that was a stupid yeah. idea? and yeah. everything overplayed. Well, of course. Yes. Why would I say that? I was in Europe um, doing lots of interviews, and one Irish journalist asked me, you know, what I thought of what Sinead O'Connor did, and I I said many things, um, and then all of a sudden it was like, um, oh, I ripped into her and tore her to shreds and stuff. I just said I would have done it a different way. I, I said that I would have... I mean, for me, if you're going to say something's bad, I, I like to offer a solution or offer a, an, alterna an alternative yeah. approach to the problem. I mean, if I went, it's, it would be like me saying, going around saying, everyone's sexually repressed, everyone's sexually repressed, but not doing anything about it, but not making an example of myself. Why was the book bound the way it was? I wanted to ask you that, too, because a lot of people are sort of wondering why I liked it. it falls apart. Well... You know, everything can't be perfect. Was it meant to fall apart? Okay. Oh, wait, did you did you vote this year? Yes. Good. Okay. For the first time, I admit. Where did you go it was to a vote? Very, I swear to God, I felt for the first time I felt like an adult when I voted. <laughs> it was very. Um, I I went down the street, this house down the street from where I live in Los Angeles. And just someone's garage. Someone got in line and just kind of went yeah. and voted. Well, there wasn't a line. I went in the middle of the day. Got a standing ovation from several elderly people <laughs> sitting there. It was very funny. What about this house in the Hollywood Hills? Like, how do you find your way around that place? What what house? There's the one that I just bought. Yeah. Well, it's probably been grossly exaggerated to being much bigger than it actually is. I saw a picture of it. It was like huge. It's not that big. Well, there's an elevator. <laughs> Well, there's an elevator right there. It's different from my place, you know. Um, it just seemed really large. Well, it's large. very bizarrely built. I mean, it is a castle, but it's a tiny castle, and it's got all these weird, strange rooms, and it's built on a hill. So it's four floors, you know. Mm -hmm. Probably if you laid it all out, it wouldn't be so huge.